gorgeous, I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be reacting to Home Free performing Man of Constant Sorrow. All aboard the acapella train, this is the second stop it has made on this channel. The first acapella performance I reacted to was the Pentatonics Hallelujah and well, amen. Are you on? Thank you for your cooperation at this time. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? I can change the colour of the slice a bit harsh. Oh, balls. Hang on. Oh, that's off. On. Off. Oh, right, no, it's the off button. Hang on, how do you change it? Oh, that's warm. Cold. Warm. Cold. Really cold. Warm. Let's go for warm. I've got a very full tea today. It reminds me of my nan. I don't know if anyone else's nan does this, but my nan, when she makes tea, she fills it up like so it's like an infinity pool but she doesn't spill it she'll bring it in unwavering perfect flat line just like the earth <laughs> okay oh it's quite the scene they're setting these are not city boys Hannibal lecture moment there. Very sexy, very sexy indeed. I am a man <laughs> in a constant oh. sorrow. Oh. I've seen trouble all my days. Get out. Oh. Okay, if this is a cappella. That would necessarily insinuate that <laughs> thing is done by none other than a human larynx. I, and let me give that a go. That's so fun. I've gone all rouge. What I think is happening there is he's producing a sound a little bit like this. Thin, stretched out, elongated vocal cords with hardly any excess air escaping between them. So that's the source of the sound production. And then What's fascinating is the rather peculiar way he's choosing to filter it. So when we choose a place to resonate and release our singing voice, any hole from the neck up can be a girl. <laughs> when you open the mouth wide, we get like a really nice pingy resonance that kind of builds up in this big like cave and then we let them out. So although the mouth plays a pivotal role in directing and shaping resonance that we produce in our voice, so does the nose. So by opening and closing the nasal passage, the two main holes that the voice likes to escape from both are being manipulated, which is why it sounds so bizarre. He's a multi-hole manipulator. And if he needs a new Tinder bio, now he's got one. The place where I <laughs> was born and raised no, no. The place where he was born and raised no, no. For six long years I've been in trouble No pleasures here on earth I've found This is so good. So we've got a nice little F blues scale going on. We all have a bit of blues. I suppose if you're singing about a man in constant sorrow, it doesn't get bluer than that. There's so many intricate layers in this as well. I can hear so much. Everything is structured so beautifully in terms of frequency spectrum. We're in the F blues scale, right? F is a big bloody deal. That kick sound seems to always be heavier when we come home. Free. To F. <laughs> there are of course little kicks in between whenever we change chord. Turkey. The 
two lead singers have remarkably similar tones, which is actually lovely because it means they can interchange who sings the melody as often as they like because it doesn't kind of throw you off. Like when we watch Pentatonics, they kind of all had to have their own verse in, in their own little because their voices are all so very different. But these two are so similar. The guy that looks like Jamie Dornan has a slightly uh, more gravelly... <laughs> There's a few more character inflections in there. His voice is slightly bigger and lower, I think. But the other guy... Hang on a minute. Why is he not wearing a hat? Why are you not wearing a hat? It's like the people that don't join in and wear the little hats you get out of the cracker at Christmas. Don't ruin the fun. He's not wearing one either. There's two of you. Two party poopers that are too cool for hats. Well, your loss because the hats look bloody fantastic. You don't really see hats these days, do you? About town. And you don't also see braces or crocodiles actually about this town. So again, yeah, no, this is a different world. All kinds of crazy things happen when you leave London. But yes, hatless man with the specs. Uh, he uses a little bit more twang in his voice. His voice sound, he seems to resonate very comfortably in those high notes and they sound like his happy place. Both their parts started on the exact same note, but his sounded like that. Uh, smaller, brighter, twangier, as opposed to. I am a man. So that's much more warm and resonant. But they both have in common a specific set of key ingredients like the vocal agility, the clarity, and just the general kind of countryness, which just makes it very cohesive whilst still staying fresh and free, and home. Oh my god. Get out. You Extra oh no, no, I'm not ready for you yet. Oh my goodness, extraordinary. I cannot even begin to quantify the amount of respect I have for a man or a woman that just don't take their voices for granted. Someone that clearly recognises the limitless potential of the voice. The first time he decided that, actually, you know what, I'm gonna try and turn myself into a harmonica today. That was a bold moment for him. That was the moment he stepped out of the crowd and into the realm of limitless possibilities. And I can pretty much guarantee that took him a good few bloody goes to get it to sound that magnificent. But he just, he did it anyway. He persevered with probably very little to go on because we can hear people sing notes all the time. We can hear that every day. But do you hear a human harmonica every day? No, you don't. May he be an example to us all. If you own a trachea, a larynx, a pharynx and vocal cords, like you are a wind instrument, my friend. Now, something I also respect is a nice, consistent set of vowels. Lots of the vowels are here. Whenever it's er, it's not er uh or er, it's er, lover. But not only is it in the lead, every time there's a moment when they all sing the same word together, perhaps he'll die. They're in the exact same set of vowels. Perhaps he'll die. Very specific. There's no little straggler in there doing like a perhaps he'll die. No. No, it would ruin the whole thing. Because the layers in this arrangement are very intricate as well. In moments where they're singing like monorhythmically, so different notes, but the same rhythm and the same words at the same time, because that's such a pivotal moment and different to what they do 
in the rest of it, that has to be uniformed. And that gives it that beautiful, exciting contrast. It's so exciting and engaging because of this and loads of other reasons. Yeah, it features a human harmonica. That might have something to do while this is so engaging. I don't know. Now, so let's just rewatch this harmonica solo because it deserves it. He's a harmonica. So much respect. frequencies. Was he damp before? No, he wasn't. They've made him wet. I bet he wished he'd swallowed his pride and wore a hat now. A beautiful, tasteful thing to occur in a song. <coughs> to give it depth and dynamics would be to perform the hook or like a, a main melody in different octaves. Now usually towards the end of a song for dramatic effect someone would come in and, and sing it really high but no. They've done the opposite and they've transposed this melody for him down a full octave. Which has a very similar climatic effect and I love the fact that it's unconventional and that climatic effect happens down there as opposed to up there. It makes sense, doesn't it? Bass and depth being the climax of constant sorrow. Ah, oh, that's why he's damp. Water. Tears are made from water. Tears come out when you're sorrowful. I still don't understand why he would be wet and then dry and then wet again if the sorrow is constant. Maybe your friends think. That was a lovely performance of that blues riff. It started very like casual and muted. Even the arm was casual. Maybe your friends think. And then it kind of exploded out of it to the your friends. Which was a nice surprise. My face you live. I love a good yodel. He's yodeling left, right and centre now. Yodeling is just terrific. I would definitely encourage you to try it. The key to a good yodel is a heavy starting point. Ooh, Because that pinging off sound you hear is a transition between thick vocal cords to thin vocal cords, which is a switch in muscle dominancy. You have one muscle that controls your m vocal cords to be thick, ooh, and then one that controls them to be thin. Ooh, ooh, is a rapid switch between the two. So you will not be able to yodel if you start like this. Ooh, there's nowhere for your voice to go. So if you just do a very thick, heavy note, and then imagine you're releasing the voice upwards to a thin, higher pitch. Pitch. Ooh. And then once you find it, you can do all kinds of beautiful things and incorporate it into melodies. You can go up and then straight back down again. I'll meet you home. What he's doing there, you can kind of think of it as a reverse yodel because he's starting with the thin and then transitioning rapidly to the thick quality. In slow motion, it sounds a bit like this. Like a donkey. Yibbidi ba ba ba. Oh! He winked at me. <laughs> Bloody brilliant, that. Oh, I loved it. A true menagerie of vocal brilliance. I love a good theme. <laughs> I think 
that's just a consistent note with a very restricted space in here in a held larynx position and then a tongue manipulation. Yo, 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 yo. Plus, inevitably, lots of practice to find that peak position of resonance to make it sound more didgeridoo. Whereas mine, obviously, at the minute sounds more didgeridoo. Don't. I'm so excited to hear more of their songs, but I feel like I couldn't possibly listen to them without you now. So, um, yeah, let me know what other songs of theirs I should listen to next because, um, mm. That was very fun. And the arrangement was outstanding. Very clever. All the little polyphonic layers. There was so much in there, considering there's only five of them. I can imagine it's one of those that the more times you play it, the more layers you notice. And they work so harmoniously together. Nothing sort of sticks out as like, oh, that was odd. All of these layers had their place and were all necessary. And that's not even to mention the vocal proficiency of all three lead singers. They all contributed a unique tone injected with character. Thank you so much for suggesting this video and thank you so much for watching this one with me today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it and if there are any singers that you would like to see me react to then please do let me know in the comments as it is always my pleasure. I love you so much, have an amazing day and I'll see you again next time. Bye!